Hello. Good morning, student. How are you? How are you today? Uh, in this class, we are going to talk about meals around the world and health problems. I remember to you, this is a, just a review of our work. Mm -hmm. eh, les voy a recordar que esto es una, un feedback, una retroalimentación de, lo, de las guías que se han enviado. Yeah? Eh, if you see here in the picture, you can see uh, breakfast, remember, desayuno, los snacks, ¿no es cierto?, que son las colaciones, lunch, eh, dinner, que es la cena. Um, you can have a, a night snack, puedes tener en la noche un, un snack diferente, ¿ya? Eh, eso es lo que vamos a revisar y ver hoy día. ¿Mm? Eh, el vocabulario de de food, de fruits and vegetables, eso ya lo hemos revisado en la cápsula anterior. The objective for today is listening and reading comprehension about food and meals, complete the dialogue, answer questions, recognize health problems. En su guía de actividades eh, tenían que eh, reconocer lo que era food, meals, preparations y the actions, ¿ya? Todo lo que era food in green color, meals in red, preparations in brown and eh, actions in blue color, ¿ya? Here we have in green color the food, race pork, beef. The meals in red, lunch, breakfast, dinner. The preparations in brown color, stew, uh, fry, baked. Yeah? And the actions uh, in blue, mash, miss, and share. Yeah? All of them do you have to connect with the colors? Meals around the world. Les voy a recordar que cuando ustedes leen un texto en inglés, no es necesario que vayan aprendiendo eh, palabra por palabra o, o que entiendan palabra por palabra, sino que la idea general del texto. Ustedes ya conocen muchas palabras de esto, entonces pueden ordenar un texto, ¿ya? Dice así, number one, people eat a variety of food at different moments of the day. What are these uh, different moments of the day? We have breakfast, lunch, tea time, and dinner. This is the, the moment of the day, yeah? Each country has its own main meals. Breakfast is usually the most important meal in many countries. But dinner is also the perfect moment to be with family and friends. However, in countries like Russia and Chile, lunch is the main meal of the day. Remember, main, el principal. The main meal es la comida principal del día. ¿Ya? Number two. Meat and potatoes of various styles dominate dinner plates in the USA. Remember, USA is United States of America, yeah? Some other good examples are burger and french fries, fried chicken with mashed potato or steak with baked potato. Do you know what mean burger? Here in Chile, we know Burger King, for example, uh, where you go to eat a delicious burgers. Uh, French fries son las papas fritas, ¿no es cierto? Es así como de McDonald's, las, las que son latitas, ¿ya? Fried chicken, ¿ya? Es eh, el pollo, ¿no es cierto? Y luego mashed potatoes, 
el poder and steak, que es el bife, el bistec, with baked potatoes, con las papas horneadas. Yeah? This is uh, uh, the people in USA is uh, their favorite food. Hmm? Number three. Some countries have a national dish which tourists cannot miss. Brazil's typical dish is feijoada, a stir made with pork and beef, served with rice. In other countries, there is a mixture of flavors. For example, the food in Jamaica mix ingredients from Spain, the UK, que es el Reino Unido, eh, Africa, India, and China. Number four. It does not matter if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. A good meal is always a good moment to celebrate and share. Remember, share, compartir. Yeah, we have a moment to for celebrate. Uh, in lunch time, for example, la hora del almuerzo, and breakfast, desayuno, dinner, cena. Answer the question. Number one. Is lunch the main meal in all countries around the world? Remember, lunch, almuerzo. The main meal es la comida principal. Entonces, ¿qué me dice la cuestión, la pregunta? ¿Is lunch the main meal? ¿Es lunch la comida principal in all countries around the world? ¿En todos los países alrededor del mundo? No. Because each country has its own main meal. Number two. What is good example for meal preparation in the USA? United States of America, en los Estados Unidos, burger and french fries, fried chicken with mashed potato or steak with baked potatoes. Number three. What do you think the phrase a mixture of flavor? Mix ingredients from different countries like Spain, España, the UK, Reino Unido, Africa, India and China. Read the text again, match the paragraph to each topic shown in the picture below. The letter A with the text number 3, the letter B with text number 1, the first paragraph, and the letter C number 4, and letter D number 2. Decide if these statements are true or false. Letter A. Dinner is the only me meal in which you can share with your family. This is false. Letter B. In the USA, potatoes are usually fried, much or baked. Acuérdense que fried es frito, much es eh, como el puré molido, or baked, horneado. Yeah? This is true. Letter C. People in Jamaica only eat food from their own country. This is false because in Jamaica the people like eat the mixture of uh, colors. Hmm? Letter D. Feijoada is prepared with pork, beef and rice. This is true. Here you have to answer the question. We have a model. Tenemos un modelo aquí para hacer un mini dialog, un pequeño diálogo. Yeah? Number one. What do you want? A hot dog, please. Number two. Can I have the salad, please? Here you are. Number three. How much is it? Ten pesos, please. Here, you have to read and complete the conversation. Eso lo tenían que hacer ustedes en su trabajo de guías. Yeah? Mrs. Jensen dice, 
Hello, Susan. How are you today? Susan dice, Hi, Mrs. Jen Jensen. I am very hungry. Mrs. Jensen, well, what do you want? Take a look. Susan, can I have the cheese sandwich and a hot dog, please? Mrs. Jensen, okay, here you are. Susan, how much is it? Mrs. Jensen, five dollar, please. Susan, thank you very much. Espero que en su trabajo de guía esto lo hayan tenido correcto, si no, eh, lo, lo revisan y lo escriben nuevamente. Health problem. What's wrong? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema, no es cierto? I have, yo tengo. Look at the picture. Asma. A backache, a broken leg, a cold, a cold, an ear age, a fever, or the flu. Headache, heartburn, meals, rash, a soft throat. This is dolor de garganta. Stomachache, sunburn, toothache. Now we are going to use have to y don't have to. Ya, tú tienes que y tú no tienes que. Ya, go to the doctor. Ir al doctor, rest and sleep, descansar y dormir, drink water, uh, beber agua y take some medicine, tomar medicinas, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh, letter A, you have to stay in bed. Letter B, you have to drink a lot of water. A negative sentence, letter C, you don't have to stay in bed. Complete. Positive. Letter A. You have to rest and sleep. Letter B. I have to take you to the doctor. Negative. Letter C. You don't have to take this medicine every day. Look at the people. How do they feel? ¿Cómo se sienten? Complete the sentence with the words from the box. I put number about the word. Les puse el número arriba de cada una de las palabras, ¿ya? Y vamos a reconocer. Number one, cold. Number two, cough. Number three, headache. Number four, stomachache. Number five, sick. Number six, well. ¿Ya? Letter A. I have a terrible headache. Letter B. I feel sick. Me siento enfermo. Letter C. I have a cold. <coughs> I have a cold. Letter D. I have a stomachache. Letter E. I feel really well. Me siento muy bien. I have a bad cold. Espero que lo hayas escrito así en tu actividad de guía. Si no, tienes que corregir. Complete the sentence with Go to the doctor, rest and sleep, drink water, take some medicines, go to the dentist. Number one. I have toothache. I have to go to the dentist. Number two. I have fever, I have to take some medicine or go to the doctor. Number three, I have measles, I have to drink water and go to the doctor. Number four, I'm tired, I have to rest and sleep. Number five, I have the flu, I have to go to the doctor.
Ya, vamos a continuar con la revisión. Look at the pictures. What do they need to do? Ya, dice, take some medicine, go to school, go to the doctor or go to the office. Number one, I have a stomach ache. You have to go to the doctor. Tienes que ir al doctor. Yeah. Number two. I have a terrible cough. You don't have to go to school. Tú no tienes que ir al colegio. Number three. I have a headache. You have to take some medicine. Remember headache, dolor de cabeza. Yeah. You have to take some medicine. Tienes que tomar unas medicinas. Number four, I have a cold. You don't have to go to the office. No tienes que ir a la oficina. You don't have to go to the office. Yeah? Have to, tiene, tener que y don't have, no tener. Yeah? Read the text. Here I put some word in red color because you are be able to recognize this, ¿ya? Les puse palabras en color rojo porque ustedes son capaces de reconocer, ¿ya? Y con esto es mucho más fácil poder tener una idea global de un texto, ¿ya? We have to eat what we need to get energy and this food has to be healthy. Today many people love eating food like hamburgers, french fries and mayonnaise but this type of food is not healthy it is rich in fat and has many calories the word fats mean grasa hamburger has fat french fries and mayonnaise this this uh, type of food is not healthy Eating too much of this food can cause a serious problem like heart disease. For this reason, experts recommend restrictions in only two special occasions like birthday party or other celebrations. What the expert recommend? Eat this food only in birthday parties and celebrations. Doctors also say that we have to reduce sugar in our diet because it is not good for our teeth. Reduce sugar, reducir el azúcar in our diet because it's not good for our teeth. Remember, what is a teeth? ¿Qué son los teeth? Los dientes, ¿ya? But what can we eat to stay healthy? ¿Qué podemos comer para estar healthy? Prefer food that is rich in fiber, like whole grain bread. Acuérdense que los whole grain puede ser maravilla, la linaza, todas esas eh, semillitas que son buenas y que ahora muchos de los bread vienen con eso. And fruits and vegetables because they give us the nutrients we, we need without too many calories. ¿Ya? Yeah? In conclusion, to have a healthy life, we have to eat less fatty food like sweet, chocolate, cakes, puddings, jam, and eat more fever food, bread, potatoes, pasta, fresh fruits, and vegetables. All these uh, are very healthy food. Answer the following questions. Letter A. What is the best title for the text? Circle an option and write it on the space providing the text. The first one in letter I, eating habits and health. Double I, healthy and unhealthy food. And three times I, the problems of unhealthy food. The answer is letter I, eating habits and health, is in red color. Letter B, what problems can unhealthy food cause? 
unhealthy food can cause us serious problems like heart disease. Letter C. Why are french fries and mayonnaise unhealthy? They are rich in fat and has many calories. Letter D. Is sugar healthy? Why? No, because it is not good for our teeth. Letter E. What do experts recommend? They recommend restricting unhealthy food, hamburger, pizza, etc. Only to special occasions like birthday parties or other celebrations. ¿Cómo anduviste con estas respuestas? Espero que bien. ¿Mm? Eso significa que entendiste muy bien eh, los textos. ¿Ya? Luego, we are going to answer true or false. Verdadero o falso. Number one, we have to eat the food that we like to get energy. This is true. Number two, many people like eating unhealthy food today. True. Number three, fat is low in calories. False. Number four. Doctors say sugar can cause heart disease. False. Number five. Fruit and vegetables give us all the nutrients we need. True. Number six. Fruit and vegetables have a lot of calories. False. Bueno niños, con esto ya terminamos la revisión de las guías 4, 5, 6. Espero que les haya servido, repasen, reconozcan vocabulario, ¿ay? que puedan eh, practicar lo, lo que han aprendido. ¿ya? Así que espero eh, que poder comunicarme con ustedes a través de este medio y que estén muy, muy bien. Cuídense. Goodbye.